exclusive source for all things Dartmouth, is proud to present the High School Athletics Game of the Week as the homestanding Dartmouth High School Lady Indian soccer team play host to the Brockton Boxers, coming in with a 3-3 three three overall mark on the campaign against the Indians with a very strong 6-1-1 one one overall record. Hello again, everyone. Ian Abreu here with you. So glad you've decided to join us here on both DCTV on cable and through our live stream on YouTube. If you're watching us on the live stream, we do apologize for a kicking off here about 15 minutes later than expected, but we were waiting for the Brockton High School bus to come in here, and it came in about 10 minutes ago, and of course the girls had to be given time to warm up. And we're ready to, to get things going here at Dartmouth Memorial Field. Again, the Indians are coming into today with a 6-1-1 one one overall record. Played last against the Durfee Hilltoppers last Wednesday, and they thumped them by the final score of 9-0. And the Boxers are coming off a very decisive victory on their own last Wednesday as well, beating the New Bedford High Whalers 7-1. So both teams coming off decisive victories, and we'll see what happens in this afternoon's tilt here in Dartmouth. The boxers are in the visiting whites with white trunks, white socks, black and red lettering going right to left across your TV. And the Indians, of course, in the green tops and bottoms, green socks, black undergarments, and white trim and lettering going from left to right across your screen. Here's a chance now for Dartmouth just up top the box, settling it down. Up front, that's Kelly Medeiros. Medeiros trying to go in toward the box, but she's ridden off the play by Shinaira Reynoso. On the right side now, that's Ella Will. Will trying to play it toward the box, goes out of bounds, and Reynoso will kick it in. Very cold day here in Dartmouth with a pretty... High wind, and we have a chance here for the boxers. All alone, an opportunity, a shot just wide of the goal. Coming out to cut down the angle was Randy Medeiros, the goalkeeper, and shooting it wide was Lena Merian, the forward and striker. So that was the best opportunity of the afternoon thus far. Merian had a chance. Medeiros came out, cut down the angle, but the shot was wide. On the goal kick, now it'll be taken by Savannah Freitas. Here's a playback now in her own zone. Going back to get it now is Maya Leonardo. Leonardo just conservatively tries to clear it out, but it goes out of bounds. It'll result in a very deep kick in for the Lady Boxers, and it'll be taken by Reynoso. Here's a set play now to Marion. Cross pass looking to hook up with number nine, Jara Rodericks. And it just goes up and out of bounds. It'll be Indian ball as we are just underway in this opening quarter here in a frigid Dartmouth Memorial Field. We went from, jeez, last game we called here about a week and a half ago. I remember very vividly saying we were peaking in the mid-70s. We went from the mid-70s to low 70s when the game ended to now in the mid to low 30s. It's amazing. Went from a, no pun intended, Indian summer right to winter, no in between. Here's the kick in now on a set play. That's Demetria in toward goal. It's blocked, deflected up. The Indians now trying to cross center and... They just barely are able to do so. It's Kylie Wheaton. Wheaton trying to penetrate in the attacking zone. But again, that defense of Brockton just so stringent. And she's ridden off the play. Here's Medeiros. Medeiros trying to play it D to D to Seguin. Seguin's outlet pass was deflected and blocked. That time it was blocked by Reardon. But now it's deflected back and a chance for the Indians. Going on the left side. Here's Giosa, Sophia Giosa. Looking for some help, looking to play it back, looking to find perhaps Paiva, can't do it. Centering feed, and we're gonna get a call, 
and a stoppage in play here. The ball did go out of bounds. It'll be boxer ball as it was too far on the end line and just careened out of bounds. And the kick-in will be taken by Reynoso. Both Reynoso and Souza on that set play. Intercepted by Medeiros. Kelly Medeiros now has her centering feet stolen, but it goes right back to the Indians. Here's a chance. Medeiros in on goal. Shot, save, rebound. Just cleared wide. Medeiros had the shot. It was stopped by the goalkeeper, Alish Olmstead. And the ball was loose. And right on the doorstep was Kylie Wheaton, and she just couldn't slam it in. Here's the stop by Olmstead. And you have a chance right here. Both Wheaton and number 15, Kristen Medeiros, were barreling in on goal. Medeiros had the best chance there. Both her and Wheaton were trying to go in toward the box for that rebound. And it just deflected out of bounds. Kelly Medeiros, the midfielder, senior, and captain, that's one she slams in 10 times out of 10. Here's a chance, a shot, and a goal! At 15-14, that's Ella Will on a setup on the right-hand corner of the box. She fires her home on the far side, just beyond the outstretched dive of Olmstead, and the Indians take a one to nothing lead. Excellent shot by Will, just on the far corner. Nothing the goalkeeper Olmsted could do about it. Nothing the defender Reynoso could do about it. And the goal comes at 15-13, and it's Ella Will, and it's one to nil, Dartmouth High, and they draw first blood here in this opening stanza. Back in her own zone now is Reynoso. We've called her name a lot for Brockton. Trying to clear it. She was looking to hook up with Alexandria Menzuda, but it was stolen away. Now the Indians have it in the attacking zone. Leonardo trying to set it up to Wheaton. Wheaton tips it back to Giosa. Giosa playing it on the left side to Paiva. Paiva gets tripped up. No call. Ball goes out of bounds. And let's see where the ball goes. They're going to say it goes to Brockton as Paiva... Almost drew a call there, but she did have possession, and she tripped out of bounds. Kicking it in on the set play that time for the boxers was, once again, Reynoso. Here's Freitas. Freitas. Over to Paiva. Paiva on the left wing side, trying to strike, and it goes out of bounds again, and it'll be... Brockton ball once again. We have a sub. No, check that. It's actually going to be Indian ball. We have a sub coming in. It'll be Annika Furtado. Furtado will come in replacing Sofia Gioso. And the ball did go off of the boxers. It appears as though it went off of Chelsea Bourne on the far side. And it'll be kicked in now by Medeiros. Give and go. A centering feed. Wheaton, shot, blocked, still loose in the box, up top. Another chance for the Indians. Here's Leonardo playing it over to Medeiros. Medeiros losing control, stolen away by the boxers, and they're looking to send away again Marion as she did have a breakaway earlier in this quarter, but she just shot it wide. Marion again. You see she's much stronger with her left foot. She leads off that left. And that... Bodes well for her playing on that left wing side because it's a much easier shot to take. The kick in now for the boxers will be taken by Reynoso. Deflected in on goal and it's corralled by the keeper Medeiros. Randy Medeiros the junior between the pipes today getting the starting action. Here's Furtado who just checked in. Furtado chipping it ahead. The Indians with numbers if they hurry. Here's Wheaton trying to go all alone, tipped ahead to the right side. Dartmouth has numbers. They have a chance. Here's Furtado in the box. Furtado trying to go one on three. Stopped but blocked by Will. Will who has a goal. Over to Medeiros. Left-footed shot blocked. Wheaton has it. A chip shot. And it'll just deflect out of bounds inside the box. It'll result in a corner kick for the Indians. 
We have a sub now for the Indians. Paige Jacobson will check in. She'll replace Ella Will. And again, you can't clear the ball into the box like you normally would on a corner due to this COVID-19 amended rules for the 2020 fall sports season. So you have to play it like you just saw there. Here's Medeiros. Over to Fatardo, a shot. Blocked inside of the cage, just out in front. Cleared out again. And it'll be another corner kick. That was a block by Reynoso inside. And now we have another chance on the kick in for the Indians. Here's Jacobson. Jacobson playing it over to Medeiros. Medeiros, a centering feed, give and go. Medeiros is called for the offside. Just in too far behind the defense. And Dartmouth had a great chance there between Medeiros and Fratardo on the give and go, but they were flagged for the infraction. And Brockton catches a huge break. If that call were missed, you can take it to the bank. Medeiros would have found the back of the net. She had the keeper, Olmstead, already dead to right. Here's a kick in for Dartmouth, the kick in taken by Leonardo. The Indians crack center, but it doesn't go anywhere as Reynoso takes it. Reynoso finds Fernandez. Fernandez on the far right side, trying to track it down as Reardon. Reardon can't get to it. She taps it briefly, it goes off of her foot, out of bounds. As a result, it'll be Indian ball. We have two subs coming in for Dartmouth. We have Eileen Boyle and Gabby Santos both checking in. They will replace Leonardo and Paiva. So Scott Boudria, the head coach in his second year, who runs a very deep bench, is showing us the depth of this team right here and now. A lot of quick subs here in this first quarter. Cleared out of bounds inside the box, out of bounds. Brockton will regain possession as that goes off of the Indians down low in the box. And now Brockton looking to set something up. Looking again to set away Marion on a breakaway. Marion sort of hangs by that midfield stripe and she looks for that outlet pass, but there was nothing doing again there. There's Jacobson chipping ahead right there on the right-hand side. That's a good ball to Wheaton if she can get it. She cannot. It does go out of bounds. It'll be Indian ball. Here's Jacobson. Jacobson to Medeiros, deflected out of bounds, off the boxers again, that was Reynoso on the defense. It'll be another kick-in opportunity for... No, they're gonna reverse the call. That makes no sense to me. That ball went off of Reynoso, clear as day inside the box. And now they're going to say it's a goal kick opportunity for the Brockton Boxers. It's an interesting call. You saw it as clear as day, a deflection inside the box off of a boxer. That's a mind boggler to me for sure. Here's a chance for Brockton. Now here's Reardon. Reardon chipping it ahead to Marion. Marion trying to go one on three. And she's defended well by Ellie Cook. Cook on the back hustle. Give her the A for effort on that. Fatardo stops, pops, plays it around on the left side, looking for Leonardo, goes out of bounds. It'll be Brockton ball. Kick in now for the boxers. Jacobson, excuse me, check that. That was actually Menziuda. And now we have a chance for the Indians. Looking to send Wheaton away was Fatardo. But it was just stonewalled in the own defensive zone by the boxers. Here's Boyle. Boyle stolen away. Here's a chance for the boxers. Here's Rodriguez all alone on goal. Shot and a goal. Jara Rodriguez, the midfielder, at 7.26. And we are tied at one apiece. Another defensive lapse for the Indians and Eileen Boyle was caught looking down and stealing it right away from her was 
Jara Rodriguez. And she slams it in on the short side of the net, just outside the dive of Medeiros. And we're tied at one. Well, the boxers are always a tough team no matter what. They're a Division I program. They have a city of over 100,000 residents, so you know they always have a very deep pool of talent for which to choose from. And they've came ready to play again here today. And if you thought they were just going to turtle up here on the road and get it handed, that's not happening. They came right back decisively with a breakaway goal to tie this sucker up at one apiece. And we're in for a boondoggle here today, folks. Here's Furtado, chipping it back in her own zone. That's Freitas. Freitas out of bounds. Goes off of Freitas' foot. Brockton ball. Here's Marion. Marion chipping it into the box. And coming out is Madeiras to scoop it up. And she'll punt it away. Doesn't go too far. It's stolen back by Reynoso. Reynoso intercepted by the Indians in her own zone. That's now Jacobson with it. Jacobson on the right wing side. Jacobson looking for Boyle. Boyle loses control. Stolen back by Fernandez. Fernandez chipping it ahead now. Here's an opportunity for the boxers. Here's Krim. Krim now with it again. Trying to fire it in toward the box. Looking to hook up with Rodriguez who does have a goal here in this first quarter. Nothing doing, and we're going to get a contact call against the Indians, and it'll result now in a direct kick for the boxers just outside the 20-yard line. Here's a great opportunity for Brockton. The one-time opportunity blasted, and it's out of bounds. The shot was fired by Rodriguez, who has the goal here in the quarter and she was looking to find that far right corner of the net and she just shot it wide and Paiva will take the goal kick excuse me check that that's Freitas Freitas will take the goal kick out of bounds Indian ball it'll be Kicked in by Seguin. Now we have a stoppage. We have to wait for a sub to come in as Sofia Giosa will now check back in for the Indians. And she'll take the place of Kristen Medeiros. So Giosa in, Medeiros out. And now we'll resume the kick in. And here's Giosa. Just off the bench. Giosa to Medeiros, looking to send Jacobson away. That's a good ball if she can get to it. She cannot. It goes out of bounds. And it's just out of touch, Brockton ball. Just under the five minute mark as that clearing attempt goes off of Wheaton, off of her shoulder, out of bounds. It'll remain Brockton ball. So we're under the five minute mark here in this quarter. Again, four 20 minute quarters and a half time. No halves here in this shortened COVID-19 amended season. Just lucky and glad we have a season. I know the rules might be a pain, but we're lucky to have this. And we're happy to be bringing you all of this action here on DCTV, whether through cable or on YouTube Live. Jacobson can't get it out of bounds again. And once again, the pendulum will swing back to Brockton. Reynoso to kick in, gives way to the other Reynoso, Bianca. Here's a chance now. Marion, the left-footed shooter. There's the left-footed shot. Out of bounds. And it'll be now a goal kick for the Indians. Taking the goal kick is Savannah Freitas once again. Looking to chip, but it's intercepted. Rodriguez. 
Looking for an opening to turn around and shoot. She cannot gain a handle. And here's Furtado. Furtado trying to go one-on-one -on -one with Manzuda. And we're going to get a contact call on the far side of the field. And it's going to go against Dartmouth. It'll be a free kick now for the boxers. We'll see who will take it. Now we have a stoppage. Menziuda was looking to tip it over to Reardon with a one-timer. Now we're set. Here's Reardon on the one-timer. We are in stoppage time right now, so give or take an extra minute or so because we did have a couple of goals. Again, a reminder, folks, stoppage time is 100% at the official's discretion. Here's Boyle. Boyle tips it ahead. Medeiros on the far side, tracking it down as Seguin. Seguin, a centering feed. Ball is loose inside the box. It was grabbed initially by Olmstead, and she just lost control. Olmstead had it. And that was almost a very critical mistake for the boxers here. Here's Santos. Santos back over to Furtado. Furtado. Nice move, Annika Furtado. The Indians have numbers if they hurry. The shot right off of the right side of the head of Reynoso. The ball goes out of bounds. Reynoso took one for the team there. That was a laser beam. As a result, it'll be Indian ball. That happened, obviously, inside the box. It'll be a corner kick taken by Medeiros. Medeiros to Furtado. Back to Medeiros. Stops, pops, out of bounds again. Deflected this time off of Daylene Souza. And it'll be another corner for the Indians. The same combo. It'll be Medeiros and Furtado. Medeiros to Furtado. Furtado, nice maneuvering. Now inside the box. Looking for a centering feed. Ball is loose. Olmstead finally grabs it. And she'll punt it away. And a good one, too, up by midfield. Pressuring the ball now is Seguin. Seguin now going back in her own end. Being defended hard by Rodriguez. Now it's grabbed back by the Indians. Here's Furtado. Furtado at the far hash. Looking to send away on the right side. Perhaps Jacobson, but it was intercepted. Back on the now the near hash on the right wing side. Here's Boyle. Boyle to Giosa. Trying to find Medeiros. Back to Giosa. Here's Furtado. Furtado trying to chip it ahead. Can't do it. Now it's taken back by Wheaton. Back up top. A shot by Furtado. Stopped by Olmstead. It goes out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick for the Indians. I think Furtado's shot sort of caught Olmstead off guard. It was way up top the box. And I don't think she was ready for it. And the boxers just dodge a bullet there. Nice save. Here's Furtado. In front, Medeiros. Trying to get a shot. There's contact in the box. Good no call there. Let him play. And now we have more stoppages. And the three whistles were just blown. And the first quarter will come to an end here at Dartmouth Memorial Field with the score. Indians won. Boxers won. We'll be right back very shortly here on DCTV with second quarter action in just a moment.
We are tied at one apiece as we head into quarter number two of action here at Dartmouth Memorial Field. The Indians drew first blood at 15-13 of the opening stanza thanks to a right-footed boot off the foot of Ella Will, the senior midfielder, as she found the far right-hand corner of the net. So the Indians took a one to nothing lead, but it was countered very quickly and in a relative short order because at 7.26, Jara Rodriguez scored all alone in the breakaway as she found the back of the net on the near side of the cage. And as a result, we are tied at one. So that's where we are, and we'll see what happens here. The Indians will now go from right to left across your TV screen or your computer screen, tablet, whatever you happen to be watching this game on. We're happy to have you. Here's Marion. Up ahead trying to find Rodriguez again, but it was stopped by and deflected by Kristen Medeiros, and it goes to Seguin, who chips it ahead. Now here's Giosa. Giosa over to Medeiros. Madeira is trying to find some help. She does to Giosa. Giosa's pass was intercepted by the boxers. Kicking it out that time was Bourne. Here's Furtado. Furtado, all sorts of running room. Good ball inside the box. A shot and a save by Olmstead. Coming out, the ball is loose. The ball is still loose inside. Wow. Going all alone was Furtado, had a chance. And she was stopped by Olmstead on a great save coming way down to cut down the angle. Let's take a look at that. Furtado with the chip in. And you can see Medeiros goes in now. And Olmstead came way out to cut down the angle. Then Will tried for her second goal of the game on the rebound. And Olmstead continued to hold her ground. As I just mentioned earlier, great setup there and great playing by Furtado to even make something happen there. And both Medeiros and then Will, both, each of them had a chance to score on the rebound in that loose ball. But you got to give credit to the keeper, Alicia Olmstead, who stood her ground and made the saves. Not one, but two of them. And she's made several decent saves here this afternoon. Here's Paiva on a good ball. Paiva, centering feed, deflected away, but the Indians have a chance. Here's Furtado on the near hash. Saves it from going out of bounds. Good footwork. Tripped up, knocked down. Contact call against the boxers. It'll be a free kick for the Indians. Reardon will be flagged for the contact. Here's the kick by Furtado. In toward the box, the ball is loose, up top of the box, now trying for a turnaround shot was Paiva. She couldn't gain a handle. Back up top now, that's Leonardo. Leonardo looking for Will. Will on the far side of the field. She just saves it from going, no. I thought she saved it, so did my Leonardo, but the call went the other way. It's boxer ball, huge break, and Reynoso will kick it in. Reynoso playing it to the other Reynoso, Bianca. Her clear can't cross center. Now we have more contact at around the 43-yard line. The contact will go against Giosa as she knocks down to the turf. Rodriguez, and now that'll be another direct kick. This time it'll go to the Brockton. Good boot in toward the box. Marion tried to slow it down. The ball's careening toward out of bounds and it'll get there. The Indians very smartly let it go out. It'll result in a goal kick. And it'll be taken by Medeiros. Just underway in the second quarter. And we're knotted at one apiece. Here's Seguin. Seguin. Over to Medeiros. Over to Will. Just out of her reach and out of bounds. 
It'll be Brockton Boxer Ball. Here's Reynoso to Marion. Marion trying to go one on three, and that's just not going to happen. And the Indians clear it away. Great defense by Dartmouth, per usual. We have a stoppage here, and we have a boxer, I think, having a equipment malfunction as coming off the field is Rodriguez, who had the goal, and she's pointing to her left cleat on the near side. So that's where we have our stoppage, and we have to wait for a sub to come in here. So because Dartmouth did have possession, they'll get the free kick here once we reset. And coming in now for the boxers will be Emma Dimitra. She'll replace Rodriguez. Giosa will take the kick. She'll just play it on a one-timer to Seguin. Seguin all the way in on goal. A good ball. It does go all the way in. But it's hoovered up by Olmstead. And she'll punt it away. Stopped by Medeiros. Deflected to Leonardo. Leonardo tried to play it back. Now it goes over to Ella Cook. Cook clears it up and out of bounds. Goes off of Cook. Brockton will now give possession away to the Indians as Cook's clear. Did go off of Rioso. Now we have a chance for Fatardo. Fatardo across midfield looking to get into Boxer defensive territory can't gain a handle. Now here's Furtado. Furtado. An opportunity here. Good ball to Paiva. Paiva tried to cock back and fire it in. But you got to give credit to great back hustle defense by Reardon. Reardon all over Paiva. The ball is cleared out of bounds. As Paiva tried to center it inside the box. It does go off of... Paiva and Paiva's pleading her case saying it went off of reared and it should be a corner kick nothing doing it'll be Brockton ball and they'll get the goal kick and it'll be taken by Rioso this is Bianca you've got two you've got Bianca and Chiara Rinoso shot in on goal stopped by Olmstead, the shot was taken by Medeiros on the far side of the field, and she'll punt it away. Here's Medeiros chipping it over to Will. Will's centering feed intercepted by Alex Menzuda. Menzuda now pushing down on the far side of the field. Looked like Will. And there was no call there. It was actually Giosa who got pushed down. No call. Here's Furtado. Furtado looking for help. Furtado looking to set someone up. Finds her player. Here's Wheaton. Wheaton with a chance. Too much footwork. She had a chance to shoot it. She went from right to left to right. And in that two to three seconds of maneuvering, it just gave enough time for Brockton defense to come back, and that was Reardon who came in and stripped it away. Kylie Wheaton had a great opportunity. She was all alone in front of the box. She was probably just waiting for that great moment to take the shot to maybe draw the keeper Olmstead out of place. Here's Furtado in front, centering feed. Medeiros has a chance, a shot! Saved by Olmstead. Kelly Medeiros has had several golden opportunities here in this game. And you've got a feeling somehow, some way, she's going to factor into a goal at some point in this game. She has been all over the field today. It might be cold out, but she's certainly hot down there on the field. She is factoring into every single Dartmouth scoring opportunity. Here's Marion. Marion tries to go all alone, but she is stripped away. Back up top, an opportunity. That's Demitra. Demitra tried to play it back, stripped away, stolen. Here's Furtado. 
for Tardo. To Medeiros. Medeiros to Wheaton. Has the angle if she can shoot it. Wheaton a shot. Blocked. In front. Deflected. Medeiros with a chance. Back over to Wheaton. And Wheaton will let it go out of bounds very smartly. Because it will result now in Dartmouth ball and a corner kick. And we've got three subs coming in for Dartmouth. We have Gabby Santos, Paige Jacobson, and Eileen Boyle. They'll be replacing Leonardo, Will, and Paiva. Jacobson to take it. Now we have a stoppage quick, and we're going to get contact call and a foul against the Indians. So Brockton will now get the ball. Indirect kick you see right there, a set play. Chiara to Bianca Reynoso. Shot on goal just wide. Shot again was taken by Medeiros. That last shot was deflected off of a boxer inside the box. It'll be a corner kick for the Indians, a huge break. Medeiros to Furtado. Centering feed inside the box. Wheaton tried a turnaround shot. Just chipped away. Here's Rodriguez. Back off the bench after she's fixed the equipment malfunction. If you're Brockton, you're happy to see her back. She's probably, if not their number one, their number two gunner on this team, both her and Marion. Both have lightning speed and can shoot. Just under the halfway point now of this second frame. Good ball on the near side to Gabby Santos. Gabby has a lot of speed, but she'll slow it down. Speed is now going to be a huge factor in this kind of a game with the coldness out there. And whomever is the best in shape has the best really has the best stamina is going to pull this one out because these are very cold conditions out there. And you know Scott Boudry has had his team well trained here as he's had in the past. And I would assume too, believe it or not, with the masks on, the coldness probably is better than the heat with the masks. So from that respect, maybe the coldness wouldn't be as much of a factor as it was when it was in the 70s and 80s out only a few weeks ago. But regardless, your hands are cold, your legs, your feet, your arms are cold, and you've got to trudge through it and play the game. Set play off an indirect kick, the shot by Reardon, blocked inside the box. Brockton still with a chance, and... That was Rodriguez trying to cross it in, but Medeiros makes the save. Reardon. Stripped away by Furtado. Furtado. She's such a great ball handler. Annika Furtado, amazing footwork, and she draws the call against Manzuda. She gets the free kick and quickly kicks it up ahead to Medeiros. Medeiros can't penetrate. Brockton looking to crack center. They can't. Here's Giosa. All sorts of running room. Giosa up ahead. A shot. What a save by Olmstead. Another great opportunity. And it was Kylie Wheaton again barreling toward goal. And she's been the story. Alish Olmstead, the goalkeeper, making another key diving save inside of the box. Let's take a look. Sophia Giosa sets it all up. It's a one-timed opportunity. Wheaton tried to blast it in. And coming out again 
was Olmstead to make another key save. Now Annika Furtado will take the direct kick for the Indians. Just inside the 10 yard line you can see on the far hash, just up top the box. One time at a Medeiros, a shot just wide. Excellent opportunity there off the direct kick opportunity because of the contact call and the infraction inside of the box. And Kelly Medeiros had a great chance. She tried to hit the far corner, and she didn't miss by much. And to take the goal kick now for the boxers will be Reynoso. Reynoso's clear is not a good one, stopped by Seguin, but Seguin can't settle it down, and the Indians again are tilting the scales back toward the boxer end of the field, but the boxers will get the ball here. We have a contact call, a win against Giosa, so it'll now be a direct kick, and it'll be taken by Fernandez. Fernandez's kick is blocked, stopped by Rodriguez. Rodriguez again tried to go in, but the Indians stand their ground and play great defense. Here's Furtado, the speedster, looking to send away Seguin. Couldn't do it, but now the Indians have an opportunity. Centering feet in front to Seguin. Medeiros a shot, just high and wide, out of bounds. She was trying to pick the corner on the near side and she just missed it. I'm not sure why the game clock is stopped at 440 here. There's no goal, no injury. I'm not sure what's going on. Let me see here. Do we have an injured player somewhere? I, I don't Oh, here we go. Way back on the Indian defensive side we do have a player down just in between the hashes and will she looks to be okay she's sitting up perhaps she was kicked in the shin or something but hence the clock stoppage here with four minutes and 40 seconds to go in this second quarter and opening half. And that was Rodriguez coming off the field, coming off on her own power, walking, talking, that's a good sign. And she'll be substituted with Amelia Vieira. So if you're a boxer fan, that's one player you don't want to see come out. But health and safety of these student athletes always is paramount. Again, the good news is, is that she did walk off on her own power, didn't get any help. She was fine. Here's a centering feed, a chance for the Indians, a shot deflected in the box. Dartmouth again with a great opportunity. And now we have a centering feed. Here's Furtado. Furtado, who just had that chance, tries for a second chance. And her self-pass was sucked in by Olmstead. And Dartmouth again can't get it by her. Paiva. The lights are now on here in Dartmouth. The sun will officially set in probably about 20 or so minutes. In front, centering feed of Medeiros. Has the chance, a shot, and a goal! Kelly Medeiros at 3.34 of the second quarter. And the Indians finally take the lead again. It's 2-1. to one. And what was I saying about five minutes ago? Medeiros has just been too hot out there. She was inevitably at some point going to factor into the scoring. 
And she does right there. Two to one, Indians now regain the lead. A huge goal toward the end of this first half. And let's see if the boxers will do what they did after the Indians scored first. And that is counter and counter in relative short order. Here's Santos, Gabby Santos on the near hash right by us. Playing it back in her own zone to Medeiros. Medeiros. Up ahead on the right hand side to Boyle. Boyle loses control out of bounds. It'll be Brockton Ball. The kick in, intercepted. Intercepted by Ellie Cook. Cook over to Medeiros. She is all over the field. Medeiros, good ball to Furtado. A touch on the far side to Jacobson. Has a cross if she can take it. There is the cross. Deflected out of bounds off of the boxers, off of Souza. And the Indians will now get the ball again with an opportunity for a corner kick. Here's Medeiros. Furtado, a shot, save, rebound, ball is loose just inside the line. It doesn't go past the line, it goes out of bounds. Annika Furtado with another great opportunity. And Kelly Medeiros was there, surprise, surprise. Let's take another look. Furtado had the shot. Medeiros was there as well as Gabby Santos. It hugged the goal line and it just bounced in the Brockton Boxer favorable way. And now we have another injury, this time on the far side of the field by the far side of the box. And we'll see who's down. Looks like another lower body injury, another boxer. Perhaps another kick, not too sure. So she is walking off the field and under her own power, which is good as well. And now we're in stoppage time, so we'll see how this all plays out here. Now we're back in play. And to kick it in will be Kylie DaCosta. DaCosta, back to Medeiros. Medeiros trying to find Furtado. Furtado loses control. Called for the push off. It'll be a boxer direct kick. I'm not sure what's going on here. You've got Scott Boudria yelling at the near side official. We had a direct kick call because of the contact call against the Indians, and finally we reset. Not sure what the big delay was. Here's Fatardo chipping it ahead on the right side to Seguin. Seguin looking to set it up. It goes out of bounds. And we just had our 
three whistles blown, so the second quarter has come to an end. And with that being said, we'll be right back with third quarter action in just a brief moment after the halftime here with the score. The Indians 2, the Boxers 1 here on DCTV. Stay tuned. And we're back with third quarter action here at Dartmouth Memorial Field with the score. The Indians are on top. Two to one thanks to a Kelly Medeiros tally at 334 of the second quarter. And as a result, the Indians are on top two to one. We are now officially dark and under the lights here in Dartmouth as the sun has officially set and well, we're under the lights completely for the first time this year for Dartmouth girls soccer. Here's a chance for Dartmouth. Medeiros. Medeiros in toward the box. One on three, a shot, and a goal! Kelly Medeiros at 8.54 of the third quarter. And the Indians take now a 3-1 to one lead. She went one on four. Great footwork maneuvering, a left-footed shot, finds the upper right-hand corner of the cage, and Alicia Olmstead, who's played great today, made the dive, but it was just too far out of her reach. Holy moly, Kelly Medeiros, she's been the story offensively for Dartmouth today. Two goals, and the Indians now have some breathing room at 3-1. Mercy. Now if you're Dartmouth here, you've got to clamp down on your defense and try to take this one home. But this Brockton team is good. They can score goals, so a two-goal lead is not insurmountable here for them to come back. Here's Will. Will trying to play it back in her own zone. And a miscue right there. Here's Marion all alone with a chance. Marion a shot just wide. And that's a missed opportunity because she had an open net. Coming out to cut down the angle was Randy Medeiros. And Randy Medeiros missed time to dive. And if Marion was able to get the aim on track, she would have had a wide open net for a goal and she knows it. Huge break for the Indians. And taking the goal kick will be Savannah Freitas. Here's Brockton with a chance. Rodriguez trying to center it. Still has it. Rodriguez out of bounds. Yeah. 
Here's a chance for the boxers now in the corner kick. Trying to play it in. Was Reardon. And the Indians now have numbers if they hurry. Play on the left side. That's a good ball. Here's Wheaton. Trying to find Furtado. And it was just deflected away and up and not out of bounds. Played back now in the attacking zone. Wheaton. Ridden off the play now by Manzuda. Manzuda trying to clear it up, but not out. Grabbed by Paiva. In toward the box. Brockton now has it. That's Reynoso. Over to the other Reynoso. Out of bounds. Brockton ball. We have a kick in. One timer to Reynoso. Deflected quickly back in the Indian attacking zone. Here's Medeiros with a hat trick bid. Medeiros, oh, that's a good ball. Playing it to Paiva. Paiva in the corner. Looking for a centered opportunity. She falls backwards as she was trying to turn around and make a pass or a shot. The ball goes out of bounds. And it'll be. Indian ball, let's take a look there at Paiva as you see her trying to regain her composure. And to kick it in will be Seguin. Seguin to Wheaton. Wheaton can't turn around and fire it. Goes out of bounds. Still Dartmouth ball. And Seguin again to kick it in. Seguin again. All sorts of running room. Kate Seguin trying to go in, and she just lost a handle. And again, Brockton very conservatively tries to clear it out and nervously does it once again and errantly does it again, and it's out of bounds again. Here's Seguin. In front, Wheaton on the pass. Wheaton gives way a turnaround. Shot is just blocked inside the box. Wheaton gave way over to... Paiva, who had the shot, that was Logan Paiva. Had to wait for the jersey to turn around there. Kristen Medeiros was also hustling in toward the box. We have a kick-in opportunity here for the Indians. It'll be taken by Leonardo. Leonardo looking for Fatardo. Fatardo. Bounces off her stomach, out of bounds, but it does go off of Vieira of Brockton, so the pendulum will swing back to the Indians, and Medeiros will kick it in. Here's Marion. Marion loses control to Medeiros. Medeiros up ahead to Furtado. Furtado looking to find Leonardo, excuse me, looking to find Wheaton, and the ball was just stolen away. Here's Marion again. Marion trying to go one-on-one, -on -one, trying to deke Ellie Cook. Gets past Cook. A chance, a shot. Stopped, Leonardo has it. So does Cook. In front, another chance for Brockton. Turn around, a shot right in on goal, and it's stopped by Medeiros as that shot was taken by Jada Fernandez. Dartmouth looking to bring back the pressure here. And ever since they had that last goal by Medeiros, Brockton has had a few decent opportunities here, one of which that comes to mind quickly was that breakaway goal opportunity by Marion where Medeiros, the goalkeeper for Dartmouth, came out and she just missed control on the shot. Marion had her dead to rights. And coming out to time it was Medeiros. And she just mistimed it. And it was a bunch of misses all around. Medeiros mistimed the cut down. And Marion missed the near side corner. And that was a golden opportunity for Brockton. As you see here, Seguin will take the kick in. 
The wind has really picked up. It's cold, cold down on that field. Here's Medeiros. Medeiros looking to find Will, but it's deflected away back at around midfield. There was Cook now trying to pressure, but the boxers now trying for a new opportunity at chip in toward goal. And Medeiros will come way out to play it, and she'll grab it on the near side hash. Ops not to punt it. She'll just roll it on the far side of the field. And you have Furtado now, the midfielder. Check that. That's Medeiros. Medeiros on the left side to Paiva. Furtado is in toward goal. So is Wheaton. And the cross by Paiva is grabbed by Olmsted. Here's Furtado. Furtado with that fancy footwork going from right to left. West to east across the field. Playing it over to Seguin who tried to smack it in toward the box. Out of bounds. We have some subs coming in for Dartmouth. Izzy Seguin will now come in as well as Meredith Sylvia. First action we've seen of them here today. Here is Medeiros. That's Kristen. Over to Kelly Medeiros. Kelly Medeiros, hat trick bid, shot, and a save by Olmstead. We have a contact call as Furtado was going in, and she was pushed by. Minzuda, it'll be a direct kick. One time opportunity shot and out of bounds. Goal kick opportunity for Brockton. And Reynoso will take it. Stopped on the far side. Fitardo. A shot. Stopped. Rebound quickly. But it's grabbed by Olmsted before it became a real big problem. She had it. Lost control for a minute. And she saw Paige Jacobson not far on the doorstep behind. Jacobson on the give and go. Trying to go on the right side, and it's not out of bounds. Jacobson battling with Reynoso in the corner. Goes off of Reynoso. It'll be Dartmouth ball. Here is Seguin. That's Izzy Seguin playing it back. Here is Medeiros. Kristen Medeiros. Just couldn't gain a handle as she was looking to fire that baby in toward the goal. She was inside the box. She just lost a handle. And that time the outlet pass was off of the foot of Vieira. And it gets deflected off of Seguin. So it'll be Brockton ball once again. And Vieira will kick it in. Just under the 10 minute mark here in this third quarter, halfway through the third quarter, more than halfway through the game overall. And Dartmouth comfortably in control, three to one. Showing why they're one of the best, if not the best team in the Southeast Conference. This team has offense, defense, goalkeeping, depth. It's just a shame that they weren't able to see this thing through through a normal high school athletic season and compete at the MIAA state tournament level, but you make the best of these situations and hope for a Southeast Conference pod title and at least get those bragging rights here in this season and these players are happy to have a season. Although it was short, better than nothing. Here's Furtado. Furtado still with it. One on two, Annika Furtado finally lost control and it goes back up to Manzuda. Manzuda looking to find Marion as well as Rodriguez, both were there but they couldn't 
Slow it down. On the far side now, you've got Freitas. Savannah Freitas stops it from going out of bounds. Plays it up ahead. Plays it over to Medeiros. Medeiros back to Freitas. Furtado looking to quarterback the offense. Slows it down. Saw an opening and she takes it. Furtado looking ahead to Jacobson. Jacobson had a chance, as did Wheaton. But it was cleared out of bounds by Reynoso. It'll be a kick in for the Indians on the far on the near side of the field. Jacobson will take it. Jacobson tried a low centering pass, but it was grabbed by the boxers, grabbed by Jada Fernandez. Fernandez going around Kylie Wheaton, being guarded by Wheaton, tried a turnaround move, and it just goes out of bounds. It'll be Indian ball. Izzy Seguin will kick it in. Seguin to Medeiros. Medeiros to Wheaton. Here's Medeiros. That's Kelly Medeiros now. Kelly and yet Kristen out there as well in the midfield. It was Kristen to Kelly. And she was trying to boot it in toward Wheaton. It does sail out of bounds. Brockton ball. Wasn't touched by any boxer. It'll be a goal kick for the lady boxers and Reynoso will take it. Giosa on the interception. Stops, pops, shoots and a save by Olmsted. It was a one-hopper, and those one-hoppers are much easier to handle on an artificial surface like this. Back in the old days of the old Dartmouth Memorial Stadium field, when they had all sorts of divots and crevices and the elements would play into it, those one-hoppers, if it hit a pebble or if it hit something, could have had a lot more danger to it, but on these fields, here's a chance for Brockton, a shot, and a save by Medeiros. What a save off the shot off Marion. Marion went one on two. The left-footed shooter tried to find the top right-hand corner. And diving out was Randy Medeiros to make the save of the game thus far for the Indians. I'm sure we'll take a look at that when we have our next stoppage. Here's Fernandez. Here's Rodriguez. Turnaround shot out of bounds. Here it is on the replay as ordered. Here is Marion, a great chance, one on two, and she was just going around Izzy Seguin. And Randy Medeiros made the save there and kept this a two-goal game. Savannah Freitas, as usual, will take the goal kick. Giosa trying to play it ahead. Intercepted by Rodriguez. Here's Vieira. Back to Marion. Here's Rodriguez. Looking for a cross out of bounds. It'll be Dartmouth ball. The Indians looking to slow it down on the far side of the field. That's Kate Seguin trying to keep it in bounds. She does, but it's stolen away by the boxers for Tardo. Now with the four check. Can't slow it down, and the boxer is now pursuing and attacking. Zoe Marion tries to go in toward the box. Runs into the Indians. Contact there, but no call. Here's Giosa. Giosa. 
up to Paige Jacobson. Jacobson deflected and played back. It was played back to Seguin. That's Izzy. Ball sailed in on goal. And Medeiros will scoop it up and play it to her teammate. Here is the other Seguin, Kate. Played back. Now the Indians have a chance here. Here's Fitardo. Fitardo. Good ball on the far left-hand side. Ball is still in bounds. A centering feed looking for Wheaton. And Brockton clears it out of the box as we are now in the stoppage time period. Here's Giosa. Giosa, nice footwork. Giosa has a chance. Her shot stopped by Olmstead on the one hopper. I would assume we're going to have a rather quick three whistles here for this third quarter. Here's Giosa. We only had one bit of stoppage, and it was the goal. Not a lot of out-of-bounds play, not a lot of fouls. Here's Vieira. Vieira now. She draws some contact, no call. She knocks down Giosa at around midfield. Ball cleared in toward goal, and... Medeiros will just grab it down and she'll punt it away. Her punt does sail out of bounds, so Brockton will have one last opportunity here in a kick-in to try to score a late goal. Kicking it in now will be Daylene Souza. Souza deflected in and a chance, and it's just wide. Delane Souza's kicking went right over to Jara Rodriguez, who does have the lone Brockton goal, and she just shot it wide. And with that being said, on that last wide shot, the three whistles do blow, and the third quarter will come to an end. So after three quarters of play, the score, Indians three, Boxers won. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back with fourth and final quarter action in just a moment. And we're back for fourth and final quarter action. The only goal, the only real bit of excitement offensively for the Indians in that third stanza was the second goal of the afternoon and now really early evening off the foot of Kelly Medeiros. In front, centering feet, a shot and a goal! <laughs> Kelly Medeiros, a hat trick right on cue. I was just going over. Her second goal of the afternoon back in the third quarter, and she boots in the centering feed at 19.38 of the fourth quarter and puts this thing out of reach. Deflected by Wheaton a little bit on the give and go on that centering feed, and it's slammed in by Medeiros. So it's now 4-1. to one. So as I was saying, as she scored that goal, Madeira scored her second of the afternoon at 18.54 of the third quarter. And not to be outdone, she outdoes herself and scores a hat trick to make it a 4-1 to one game. Her hat trick comes at 19.38. And the Indians are now in the driver's seat to take this one home. A three-goal lead is really an insurmountable lead to give up. 
if you're in playing soccer, the field being so big and goals coming at a premium, Brockton would have to score four unanswered goals here to take the lead. And with the way Dartmouth has been playing, and not only offensively, but defensively, with the lockdown playing of players like Ellie Cook, um, not only that, but the goalkeeping that we've seen from Randy Medeiros today, I just don't see that happening. I see Dartmouth holding on and taking away a very huge victory over a excellent Division I opponent. In front centering feed that time by Gabby Santos deflected. Here's Kristen Medeiros' shot stopped by Olmstead. The first two minutes have gone away here in the fourth quarter. Here is Giosa. Giosa. Oh, she has all sorts of running room. Over to Wheaton. Ball is loose. In front, a shot. Just wide. Gabby Santos had a great opportunity. She tried to hit the top corner just beneath the crossbar. And she missed by inches. We'll take another look. Wheaton deflects it to her. Tries it, and man, she didn't miss by much. She knows it. The boxers have the indirect kick now. They'll take it on the near side, near hash of the field. Madeira stops it down to Giosa. Give and go back to Giosa who creates all sorts of havoc on that field, looking to tip it to Medeiros. Can't do it. Back at the midfield, that's Kristen Medeiros. Here's now Kate Seguin. Seguin was looking to rush it in toward the attacking zone. Kicked out of bounds by the boxers, but it'll remain Indian ball, and Seguin will kick it in. That's Kate, 19, not Izzy. Izzy is number 9. Here's Cook, a solid defender, playing it over to Maya Leonardo, another solid defender. Those two have been on lock here this afternoon, except with that one exception on that one goal by Jara Rodriguez back in the first quarter. Other than that, they have been really locked down here today. Here's Medeiros looking for Wheaton, intercepted by Brockton. Looking to clear into the attacking zone. Stopped by Giosa. Giosa looking for Medeiros. Too far ahead of her. Stopped now by Leonardo. Leonardo on the far side clears it up and out of bounds. It'll be Brockton ball. Ball's deflected, cleared in, and it's grabbed by Medeiros. So the Indians maintaining a very solid 4-1 to lead on this Election Eve 2020. If you're watching us live, that is. This game taking place on Monday the 2nd. Cleared out of bounds. Brockton, excuse me, Dartmouth ball on the kick-in. Inside Brockton defending territory. Seguin will take it. Seguin plays it back to Kristen Medeiros. Medeiros looking for Kelly Medeiros. And Medeiros has her centering feed stolen back in her own zone. Savannah Freitas. Freitas chipped ahead. Here's Kristen Medeiros. Medeiros to Giosa. Brogdon now will tip it ahead. That's Leonardo trying to play it back in her own zone. Being chased by Marion. And it does go out of bounds. And we have a sub coming in for the Indians. Coming in will be Eileen Boyle and Kylie DaCosta. So Boyle and DaCosta will come in. And Kristen Medeiros and Maya Leonardo will come out as we prepare for a Dartmouth kick-in. Here is Rodriguez, who has the goal. 
Rodriguez looking to go one on two. Nice spin move, Jara Rodriguez. But she just can't penetrate that wall and Dartmouth clears it out of the box. Here's Giosa, Giosa trying to send away Gabby Santos and it was too far ahead of her, out of bounds, Brockton ball. Marion trying to tip it ahead to Rodriguez, but it was intercepted by Freitas. Santos stopped on the interception. Not a clean interception by Menzuda. She had it, but it just went under her cleat. Out of bounds, Brockton ball, and to kick it in will be Fernandez. Fernandez does hit Marion, but She's met by Ellie Cook, and not too many strikers are going to get past Ellie Cook, and she stands her ground. Here's Medeiros. Good ball to Santos, who was wide open. Gabby Santos. Back over to Kelly Medeiros. Nice give and go. Kelly Medeiros to Wheaton. Back to Giosa. Giosa almost gets tripped, still running with it. But the play goes on, and Dartmouth lost control, but it goes back here as Eileen Boyle. Eileen Boyle up to Giosa. Here's Kylie Wheaton. Wheaton turnaround, a shot in the box is blocked and out of bounds. It'll remain Dartmouth ball. Nice block by Chiara Reynoso. Kalia DaCosta on the kick in. Back to DaCosta. Out of bounds again. It'll remain Dartmouth ball. DaCosta. On the far side. Boyle. Draws contact from Chelsea Bourne. And Bourne's called for the push. It'll be a now direct kick for the Indians. Medeiros gets it to Furtado. Furtado. Still with it. Furtado trying to go in herself. Deflected. The ball is loose inside the box. And Brockton is able to crack it just away and avoid a disastrous situation. Here's Marion. Marion looking to send Demita away, but she lost control. Furtado on the near side to Santos, Gabby Santos over to Wheaton. Brockton can't clear it out all the way, still inside Dartmouth attacking territory. And now it is finally cleared out, but it was cleared out by Menzuda out of bounds. Dartmouth ball. Paige Jacobson will check back in for the Indians. And she'll replace Ella Will. Here's Medeiros. Kicked back into Brockton now attacking zone territory. Here's Marina. Shot. Blocked. Here's Medeiros. Medeiros now playing it up to Fatardo. Fatardo. Nice footwork. Getting it around Rodriguez. Nice maneuvering. Goes through three. Goes through four defenders. A shot. Just wide. Oh, if she scored there, that would have been too much. Annika Furtado dipsy doodling her way around four Brockton boxer defenders and she just shot it wide. Goal kick now for the boxers as we just dip under the halfway point of this fourth quarter. An Indian victory is all but inevitable here now at this point. And with the win, the Indians will improve to 7-1-1 overall on the season. We will have Southeast Conference tournament action for you once the schedule is announced sometime next week. 
The regular season does wrap up this week for Indians field hockey, boys and girls soccer, and volleyball. We reckon we will have tournament postseason action for the volleyball team, the field hockey team, and the girls soccer team. So stay tuned for that. Whether it's myself or Evan Masood, one of us will be here calling the action for you. All depends on our schedules, but fear not, one of us will be here. Here's Seguin in her own zone. Now it's Medeiros. Kristen Medeiros gets tripped up, and we are going to get a contact call on the trip. That was clear as day. Goes against Manzuda. It'll be a direct kick now for the Indians. That was a pretty hard spill, and you can hear Scott Boudria pretty loudly asking her if she's okay. She fell flat on her chest, and anyone who's fell flat on your chest, I'll tell you, you can get the wind knocked out of you pretty well on that. But she's okay. Here's Rodriguez trying to go in toward the right-hand side of the striker zone, and again, great defense by the Indians. Fatardo over to Medeiros. Again, that's Kristen, not Kelly. Kelly is eight. Kristen is 15. This is Kelly, who has the hat trick. Looking for Wheaton. Stopped. Here's Fatardo. Nice ball up ahead. Here's Wheaton. A shot. She started to shoot. It was deflected briefly, and the Indians still have the ball inside the box. Here's Medeiros trying to play it back. Now we'll slow it down to Fratardo, and the Indians will look to reset. Wheaton had the shot. She began to shoot, and it was just deflected away. Here's Medeiros. Give and go back to Fratardo. Fratardo, nice maneuvering inside the box. A shot. Save. Rebound. Very juicy rebound. A shot again in front, just wide and out of bounds. Gabby Santos had an opportunity on the doorstep, and it just sailed out. Kate Seguin will now check in for the Indians, and we'll take another look. What footwork and great maneuvering by Furtado, and you can see Wheaton then had a chance on the second opportunity, and Gabby Santos, she also had a chance on the far side, but it just went out of her reach. We had a miscue on the goal kick there, and the Indians almost made them pay as barreling on the doorstep was Seguin, who was right there, but they were just able to clear the almost deadly play out of her own zone. That would have been very costly here, but at this point, it's all relative because Brockton's not going to win the game, and the Indians are going to win this thing, so you're playing for pride here at this point if you're Brockton. You'd like to at least notch another goal, make this a little more respectable. Not that 4-1 to is a blowout, but 4-2 to two looks a heck of a lot better. 4-3 to three looks even way better on a score sheet if you want to lose. But again, the way Dartmouth has been playing defensively here, I just don't see that happening. They've been able to isolate... Their best scorers, Jara Rodriguez and Lena Marion, to minimal attacks at best. Marion, remember, had a breakaway in the first quarter. She missed. She had a breakaway in the second quarter. She missed. Um, other than that, and then, of course, the goal by Rodriguez. So there's really been only three overall opportunities by the boxer strikers here to score. But besides that, the Indian defense has been on lock. Nearing the end of this thing here, about two and a half minutes away from stoppage time, the free kick will now be taken by Fernandez. It's a good one in toward the box. Trying for a turnaround bicycle kick inside the box was Emily Smith, and she miscued, and Medeiros and the Indians catch a break Medeiros thought about punting now she will and that's a good one it connects with Santos Santos trying to send Seguin away but it was intercepted 
Back in her own zone now is Freitas. Freitas plays it back. Here's Medeiros. Kelly, that is. Not Kristen. That's Santos. Back over to Boyle. Eileen Boyle. Ridden off the play. Great defense by Minzuda. Here's Kristen Medeiros. Kristen's 15. Kelly is 8. Three twenty-four left here in the ball game. Here's Rodriguez. Rodriguez drawing contact, running into the Indians there, running into Freitas, and she's called for the contact. It'll be a free kick now for Dartmouth. Medeiros. To Seguin. Nice move. Takes the ball to the middle of the field. Tries to touch it on a centering feed. But it's stopped. And it's grabbed now by Boyle. Boyle back in her own zone. Will play it back. Playing it over to Kylie DaCosta. DaCosta. Chips it ahead to Fittardo. Fittardo. Defended very strongly there by Fernandez. Fernandez. Can't get it up, can't get it out. But it does go off the Indians, and Fernandez will kick it in. We have a lot more subs now coming in for the Indians. We have Hannah Sullivan coming in. As well as Izzy Seguin. And Meredith Sylvia. So we have Seguin, Sullivan, and Sylvia... All coming in here. No alliteration there at all. Here's an in front chance. Opportunity, a shot, and a goal in stoppage time. It's 5-1 to one Indians. No goal. R ruled off on the offside. They had a goal, and they just blew the play dead on the offside as shooting it in was Seguin. And she was just behind the defense. Too far behind. Call for the offside. The players on the Indian squad started to raise the arms and celebrate the goal, but the call was made by the far side official on the offside. Here's a chance for Fatardo, a shot stopped by Olmstead. Now we're in stoppage time. Sullivan, who just came in to Seguin. Deflected up now. It's across midfield. That's Rodriguez trying to play it. But she's bumped into by Medeiros. Medeiros over to DaCosta playing it. And we have our three whistles blown. And that'll wrap up the game. As the Indians are victorious with the final score of 4-1. to one, Thanks to a hat trick by... Midfielder, senior, and captain Kelly Medeiros, always one of the team leading point getters and goal scorers, so she scores the hat trick. She's our player of the game. Also scoring for the Indians who broke the scorer sheet was Ella Will back in the first quarter at 15-13, and the other three goals were scored by Kelly Medeiros. With the victory, the Indians improved to 7-1-1 and overall in the season, and with the loss... The Boxers fall to 3, 4, and 0 overall on the season. Well, that'll wrap things up here from Dartmouth Memorial Field. For Peter Chase, our entire production crew, this is Ian Abreu saying this has been an exclusive production of DCTV. And until we see each other again, so long, everybody.